today's episode, we're resuming our exploration of Georgia's massive Central State Hospital. Last week, we explored the facility's main medical building, which contained a morgue, surgical ward, and more. Now, we're venturing into two of the patient wards that have been sitting abandoned for decades and still house some interesting artifacts. Join us as we explore. Thanks to Trade Coffee for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Trade Coffee is a coffee subscription service that partners with top independent roasters to send the best fresh coffees in the country directly to your home on your preferred schedule. Their team curates over 450 exceptional coffees and expertly matches them to your taste preferences with their online quiz. Before I spend hours sitting down to edit a video, I love to have a great cup of coffee. It keeps me going and it's just something I can enjoy. And to be honest, I wish I could bring this coffee with me on our trips. Their quiz matched me with these three coffees. Lately, I've been brewing with an espresso machine, but occasionally I'll make a pour over two. They all taste great both ways. Trade is the easiest way to get your very best tasting coffee delivered fresh when you need it. And if you don't love your first bag, Trade will work with you to replace it for free. Right now, Trade is offering our viewers a total of $30 off your first order plus free shipping at drinktrade.com slash proper people. So if you want to support small businesses and brew the best cup of coffee you've ever made at home, it's time to try Trade Coffee. Go to drinktrade.com slash proper people. That is not security. That is just a white van. Down here. Yeah, let's just go straight across this and then go like behind the church, behind everything. That's probably our best bet. Nice front. It is, yeah. The first board we're exploring is the Green Building. It was built in 1947 and housed schizophrenic patients whose conditions were unlikely to ever improve enough to be released. In its later years, it was used by the county for various community services. We have very nice colors in here. You're not gonna believe what this says above the door here. Operation Explore. I feel welcome. Showers. There was a nurse observation window. This would have been an open ward, but they put up these walls yeah. in like the 70s, it looks like. Yeah, I'm sure originally you could come right here and see all the way down each yeah. end. This part is kind of open still. Let's see if we can get out into this area. Looks pretty nice. Nah, okay, not worth it.
There's a chair there. Barely. <laughs> Not quite. Don't think you can consider that a chair anymore. This is some old packaging. Yeah, this building's real decayed. This side doesn't have any walls. You can see how it was meant to be. That looks pretty nice. Especially with these paint peels. Yeah, the big ones. Any security? Haven't seen them all day today. Oh, you see them? They're just parked in front of the building. This is that same dynamic security yep. here. Even this room would have been more open originally. Is this what they did to the main entrance? I think this is the main entrance. Just kind of lame. Yeah. Just a little bit of marble trim at the bottom. Yeah. Oh well. Looking like the other yeah, the other building was definitely the main. I think that was the main medical building. This is just wards. Probably dining at one point. Yeah. This is open. This might have been the serving area. Counters, and I can already see there's a stove hood over here. Kitchen. They really stripped everything out of here. They did. Still sitting there? Someone's out of their car right there. Here's another open ward. This one's nice and clean. No graffiti. That one higher up on the hill looks significantly older. Hopefully that one will be better than this one. We have to make it to that last building now. Which is going to be the toughest one since the only entrances we've seen are kind of out in the open. The next ward we're exploring is much older. The Walker Building opened in 1886 and was an admission ward for the hospital's white male patients. It was in use until 1974 and has sat abandoned ever since. The old ladies are over there. Huh? The old ladies are over there. Alright, I think we made it in without 
being seen. Just the old lady, so we're looking this direction, but we're pretty far away. This is the building that burned. This is rough. Yeah. This looks nice though. This is looking real rough so it far. It is. Bathroom. This room looks interesting. It's the bathroom. The shape of it. Some railing here. Where'd this come from? That's a really cool door. Really pretty, but really empty. That's how I'd describe this place. Pulling here. That must be the main entrance for this. Nothing too opulent. Nope. Check and counter. Guessing this is just a larger, older ward. Just housing. But it doesn't seem like there's open halls like the other no, one. This is doesn't. just private rooms or maybe three beds per room in here. Something like that. It's a nice room. Lots of old lights. It's like a nice warm greenhouse up in here. These doors look different than the other ones. They look a lot more like cell doors. A little meal pass through. Yeah, the meal pastor is pretty cool. Interesting. So the whole meal pastor would spin 180. You could see how this would spin with it. It's on the inside of the door here. On the outside of this door. Still patient toothbrushes left in here. Jackson, Riley, Baines. You can see Riley was a pretty aggressive toothbrusher. Or they just haven't given him a new toothbrush in a long time.
That looks really cool. Looks clean right here. Yeah, until you get to until there. Until you get to there. Dude, we should have been here in the summer. Would have looked epic with that tree right yeah. there. This is surreal. Yeah. There's actual trees growing in here. Yeah. I hope the floor is good. I didn't see any holes in it from below it. I hear bees. You can still smell a bit of smokiness in the air. That smell never goes away. This is a really cool cupboard over here. I love how the sinks are like flower pots now. By now, the sun was beginning to set on this short winter day and it was time to make our exit. We hope you enjoyed coming along.